Hello and good evening. My name is John. We're playing Unlimited Escape 3 and 4. This looks like Unlimited Escape 3. This is part of my Steam cleaning series. I go through all the games in my Steam library eventually and uh, arbitrarily rate them. This is a Unity game. It looks like, from first blush, a bunch of cubes with some flipped assets. Uh, start a new game. Yeah, we didn't have a save. That care motion is kind of nauseating. Save two of seven captain. Enemy bases are scattered randomly in the path. These bases are color red. Save points are color and blue. Okay. Okay. So I push them. Press fire to... Each maze is different. Always different people randomly generating wells, lighting, is light, lights, and lighting. Alright, so I just push these box, box off the edge. Goodbye, box. So the problem I'm having here is that because the camera rotates, my straight pushes become angle pushes, so I have to fight against the camera. But that's, yeah. Each maze is always different. Lighting's different. In a way, in this way, the game's dynamics are always new. Yeah, but, like... This procedure generated level puts some enemies there, or puts the danger spot there, but that means nothing. There's, I'm never gonna go that way. Yeah, the fact that the camera is rotating makes it so you can't push straight. Making this game incredibly tedious. Also, nothing feels like it has any weight to it. Which such that the physics are all very slidey and I don't go any slower from pushing. Uh, I don't go any slower from pushing two guys or one guy. All right, there's two. I don't know if I would call that a save point. I mean, the vernacular for that would be like rescue point or goal or push things into point. But save point in video games kind of means like where you go to save your game, not save your targets. Yay! I've not needed to shoot it all yet. Well, I gotta clear off the save point. Let's go this way. What's over here? Do I die if I go in the danger point? I do if I push guys there. So, those three guys, or gals, or captives, are between three danger, or between two danger points. So there's no way I'd be able to push them through that danger point. Like, get them out. So they're, they're basically meaningless. As advanced the levels, the game gets ri bigger, richer, and difficult. The number of enemies, and they, so, so maybe I'll get enemies soon?
Alright, so I can't push them through here, that's dangerous. Can't push them through there, that's dangerous. So I might as well turn around, can't do anything with those. And I slipped off. And those two are floating in the air over there. One second. On the map there, two are floating in the air, so you'd never be able to get them, so... That level was not beatable. E is group point, so I can just have them follow me now. Well, that's interesting. Well, that's new. Now it's super easy. Oh, I didn't see the bad guys coming. Yeah, I won the level without moving. Whew. I shot. I shot that. Alright. I'm prison each mage to the group them and bring them to the save point randomly through the maze. Alright, well, let's talk about Unlimited Escape 3. Um, uh, once again, procedural level generation is not di directly, oops, a procedural level does not mean a good level. Um, many of these levels that were created are created in such a way that they're either too easy or too simple and don't have any concerns over like what it takes to win. All right, can I turn around and... This camera's terrible, too. Oh, gosh, camera, camera. All right, push that. This camera's actually making me nauseous. Yeah, so this camera is actually making me nauseous. Uh, random levels do not mean good levels because sometimes enemies are behind targets or, sorry, al the things you're trying to capture were in, specific, were in positions where you could not save them, which is uh, bad. Uh, level design seemed also very poor. Controls are weak. You were very easy to slip off. I guess you don't need to push them, so that early play was uh, not indicative of what we were actually going for. But overall, Unlimited Escape 3 is not that good. Just because it's unlimited does not mean it's good. All right, so we're gonna load up Unlimited Escape 2 now. One sec. All right. Two games, the price of one. This is identical. This is identical. This is so far identical of Unlimited Escape 3. Yay, I won a level! That is identical so far. What is new?
Did I fail the level? I saved eight of four. Can I save the level before it starts? Can I beat the level before it starts? I can. This uh, this looks like exactly a Limited Escape 3. Yep. Two seconds to beat that level. Alright, so there's some over here that are off the map. Let's let's head over there. Oh, they're not off the map, they're just underneath stuff. I don't want to move the mouse. Oh. Well, from all indications, uh, this is exactly Unlimited Escape 3, but just called Unlimited Escape 4. So, uh, I'm going to make the bold statement here that this game is not good. Uh, the reason I would say that is that Random levels does not equal fun levels. The level design could use a little crafting or different paths, and there's a lot of, like this level, for example. Um, let me move this, uh, no, hold on. This level, for example, if you look at the radar here, it's just a whole bunch of bouncing blocks. Like there's no thought to it. It's just, here's a random bunch of random barriers. And I get it, like, hey, it's great. There's a limited amount of stuff you can do, but that doesn't mean it's fun. And isn't that the end goal here, is to have a fun game, not just a lot of game? Yep, just push that. Come on, my soldiers! Okay, so if you fire, you can't have your group point. Uh, yeah, um, there could be something here, there could be a puzzle game here, but puzzle games you need to have well-designed levels to make the puzzles fun and enjoyable and challenging and not, they all feel the same because they're all random. Even though they're all different, they still feel the same. Um, overall, I'd say Unlimited Escape is not a good game. This is the third and fourth one. I have no idea about one or two. Uh, what does this game need to be good? Well, it needs to have some crafted levels. Never make completely random stuff, especially at this quality, I should say. Never make completely random stuff without any basic stuff to train you and teach you with uh, some handcraft levels so players get the feel of what they're supposed to do. Secondly, if you're going to make randomly crafted levels, you got to have a, a plan for it. you got to have a scheme, a plan, some sort of layout, something that makes the levels fun because I got a bunch of levels that all felt the same where we're not, not beatable or boring. So, yeah... Don't do random stuff if you can't do it well. Cheers.